to push down that corridor um, to actually get themselves into that main B site. And it's like, yeah, cool, let's go. Oh, hang on, no. We've got four players running down a corridor where they can spam into the officers. And there's literally only two ways you can go once you go in there. One is literally through the side, one's straight down the middle. And you're like, yeah, where are we going to go from here? Um, apart from death. And uh, there we go, map change does actually go to summit. Obviously there is still no pro mod in there, so we can't actually just literally just go, oh, just wait a second, just change the map easily and go from there. Um, but it is hopefully on the way, Treyarch are making up mod tools, so uh, it will be here one day sometime soon. We're just wishing and hoping and thinking and praying that it will actually be here one day soon. So back loading into summit, and uh, the players, uh, the teams will actually get chosen this time by Archaic MSI. Uh, they're the ones to choose if they actually want to go attack or defense this time around. As far as it goes though, literally anybody that holds the lockers wins in this. At least that's, that's the experience we generally find out as uh, a little bit of a slice and dice actually comes through. So we'll uh, change the team and I'll actually show you what I'm talking about. So jump into spectator mode. Alright, so welcome, welcome, welcome to your map. This is where we will be playing around. And the best approach here for the attacking side, they can actually go down the side and around, but where they actually want to finally end up is up here. From here, you can literally control motion towards everywhere. There's literally a server farm up here. Um, but from up here, you've obviously got access just outside. You can go for a bit of a flank. Uh, the the uh, defense spawn is just over on that side. Run yourself through. This is a big room where you can push yourself down, and you have to go through this room, control this room before you can get the plant on this very, very exposed bomb site on the side. It is the number two site. It is actually the A site. So it's actually technically the number one site if you want to go in uh, alphabetical order. Uh, but really, control this room, control up top, and you literally win this game. So uh, we will see how both teams actually approach this one too. Clarity looks like, uh, oh, actually it looks like we've actually lost uh, one of our players here. Uh, okay, okay, MSI, so there's four plays in the server, so we've got Motion, Sensuki, Miller, and Ecstasy. Missing out the big man. And I'm not actually quite sure if we're going to have a bit of a substitution for Archaic MSI, uh, but both, both the teams will actually still go over this one here. So, uh, okay, Archaic MSI, Clarity, Clarity, they're down one match, so uh, that's not really going to help the case right now. And wow, what a spectator view! It's like, oh yeah. Obviously you can see, I still got my fog turned on. Um, decided not to actually switch any of those on. I could actually switch it around to the settings of what the players will be more than likely at. But we'll, we'll keep it pretty for the time being. But it just means when we actually start up each game, we're gonna see absolutely nothing but the jump out of the hangar towards the, towards the cable cart. As our players rejoining, Jung is back, Ecstasy is here. So uh, are we ready? We're gonna have ourselves a restart. We've got enough players to actually do it, 5 for 5, and who will actually be advancing into the quarterfinals of the uh, of the Kingston Cup? That will be our question, which still needs answering. There's a lot more games still going going on as well, so a big shout out there to uh, the three teams, I believe, of Showercasters uh, that are working for GameStar currently tonight. So I believe uh, Demand's having a bit of fun we, uh, with uh, Blood Mother. We also have RCDM Shoutcasting with EJ and Bob and Tommy Gunn, the big man's ever, who's always there to actually shoutcast the local heroes of New Earth game, is being teamed up with the Singapore Super Sensation of DA. Of course, this is Cyber Gamer TV and myself, Toby Wan Kenobi. I am bringing you all this action just for you guys. Just for you. Well, I actually gave up my time from Dota just to make sure that I can be here for you guys. So uh, we'll actually join into the teams. Not to mention I actually love Dota. At home. And COD. There's a love everywhere. In fact, literally, the reason why I think half the I, I, archaic MSI guys are literally not that trained up at the moment or not, not that feeling great about themselves is because they've been playing a nothing but... Oh, hang on. Nope. We didn't actually get the restart right because Clarity were missing one of the players. Um, but because they've actually playing a lot of Heroes of New Earth, every single time I log on to their fans, it's like, yeah, yeah, we're playing Game of Holland. Yeah, awesome. Soul Reaper, fantastic. As, uh, we're actually going to go live now. Match begins. Choose a team. And... Um, Choose a team. It won't let me choose a team until everyone's actually on. Clarity's still missing one. Alright, let me do it. <laughs> Clarity just not actually being up. No, we are actually live now. All the players are actually on. So uh, just a bit of a glitch up in my system. Knight throwing down the nade down the side. You're going to try and slow down this, this Clarity um, 
This uh, Clarity defense push up. Looks like the target is going to be the B side. Couple popping up. That's what I'm talking about. Server farmers where they want to be. Cookie's trying to spam it up. That's a very, very thin piece of tin trying to protect him. And he decides to fall back from that side. They need to hold this off here. And uh, looks like even Vass managed to get himself down towards the bottom of the server farm uh, into the comms room. And uh, Miller actually goes down with Cookie up there on that high ground I've been talking about. Spots one on the front. It's on the mid connector. Vass actually gets the kill. Jung goes down. And we do actually see Archaic being caught off here. And Sensuki for some reason disappeared in to thin air and his AK was all that remained of him is literally what we're going to have to bury in the ground. Will Motion be able to clutch it for his team? The pop goes off, the glass comes out, they're going to come in towards that bomb site. and uh, you got to remember he's on the defense so if they get the plant down he can bait them all to him or he can actually basically hold them on top of the bomb. He's got four players to bring down right now. The smart move will oh, actually go and plant the A side right now if they can. They know where he is. They're hiding behind this rock back past the B side and there goes the A plant. Crick's on top of that one and um, interesting spot to actually go. It's very, very exposed that spot. Um, but we will actually stay on board right now with motion. He spots one through the trees. Now wants to go through, smoke goes down, give himself a little bit of cover, going across the catwalk, past the cable cart, coming in towards the side, he has no ones on his side, and he does come in for the side. Knight, I think, actually jumped in behind him. There was still the, uh, the uh, safety net of another clarity place and just around the side there, and uh, Sensuki's blaming the gun jam that's coming out. As you see, Sensuki just running himself down past that cable cart. Back to the spectator mode. Comes through X, he gets an early nade kill right now. Clarity still wants to push up with the bomb carrier knight right now. He will be protected by Cookie, he's actually killing up the rest of the team. And now he's actually not going to be protected, he wants to get the guy down the comms room. Stuck, currently, archaic guy in the comms room. It is Jung, he gets one, he doesn't get two. Crix comes up from the side, manages to bring him down. And Motion, once again, is the only player left alive. Better odds this time, it's 2v1 instead of the 4v1 he was facing up last time. And he's going to come towards the cable cart. No bomb sight. He does have one player in front of him. He waits for him to double run. Oh, sinks. Big mistake. Went out and thought, you know, I have the audacity to peek twice. Did so and managed to get his ass slapped down for his efforts. And it is now a 1v1 motion on Cookie. It is Mott going up against Koo. If you actually want to short the names like Motion decides to actually do. Bomb plan from Cookie. Oh, he gets it. 74 U long range is just as good. Didn't actually claim the headshot, but it is two to nil in favor of Clarity here in what is the second match. It's the second match of the best of three here for the Kingston Cup. Archaic MSI going up against Clarity. Sensuki double nades it off. Still trying to come through. Clarity Noob slows down XC. Miller gets back onto Noob as well on the wrong side. Sensuki is actually pushing up on that side, is going up for the A site. And um, we actually see Motion kill off the last player, so uh, managing to miss every single bit of action bar the uh, glimmer of Sensuki actually getting that kill on the side. Wow, it would be so much easier if we could just follow them in spectator mode. Please, uh, Treyarch, please fix that. Still with the Clarity Boys, now he finally jumped down to Jung, he's actually all been about approaching that mid-side. XD as well, he's actually already up in the server farm spots, what? Wanting to come up the ladder, very, very quickly jumping off the ladder. In fact, two of the arcade boys committing up towards the top there. Jung trying to get the wall bang off here. Cookie's already gone up and actually killed Miller up there on the top. As uh, well picking up a second as he gets Ecstasy coming through. Bomb plant will go down, but no, it's once again behind the rock. Cookie's getting damaged from the side there. He's been done so many times, and Jung from the side. It's all about distraction. Sensuki goes down, and Motion once again. It's the reason why he's been alive so many times. He's just been waiting for them to go for that plant. But we do see Archaic MSI level it up at two apiece now. Back in a spec mode, nades flying over the top, Knight's actually going to go down, and once again you see that, that nade try and stop the Sensuki rush up the side. We'll stick with him just for the moment, he's having a bit of a look, he's uh, not going to be aggressive, so we're not going to stick with him anymore. We're going to actually watch and see people dying up here on top of the server farms. Nude wants to get up, spots one down the very, very far end, he loses a teammate, oh no he doesn't, that teammate is still looking out. Vass comes through, brings out XC, jumping out through that mid connector, and manages to come out as well, Jung gets caught out, as well as Miller, they're losing players left, right and center, set. and it is Mo! Going to come through towards the middle there until Knight puts him down. 3-2 to two is on the counterboard. We're going to jump ourselves on board now with uh, with the archaic MSI crew. That bottom seat, bottom um, and seat see how they're going. Real problem because that guy just rushes straight in. You can't do anything. One's in already, Miller. I have to give up, man. I got him. He will not die. Top CP, last one. I'm up at the... 
Seriously, Gary, I don't know how you call over me. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what are you talking about, Gary? Alright, so intermission is where we're going to hit, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll jump ourselves back into the game. Intermission, so we now see clarity there on the uh, defense as uh, Knight gets naded there by Miller up there on the top. He really, really loves those geeky, geeky nades. Uh, and uh, now coming through, Jung just jumping himself down with the bomb site. Looks like they're going to head towards the A site while Vass is actually killing players and through the glass. Jung doesn't even care about glass and uh, manages to actually bring it down. Spots one jumping. Oh! Jung is ready for it. He just knew he was going to make that leap and Crix would have been damaged from the fall and wouldn't take many more bullets to actually finish him off. And uh, we do see Archaic walking away with that round in victory. Jung, just that great positioning. Knight once again, let's watch him up here on the top. Gets naded. XC gets Cookie with the MP5. And uh, looks like Archaic are on the rampage through the middle there. Jung has the bomb and he is actually must have run all the way back to actually pick that one up. Ecstasy spots one, sees one, sees one, can't kill one. Noob is still there. Miller actually died to him before and XC finally gets revenge for his fallen comrade. And uh, will they be able to finish him off motion through the trees, through the trees. Can't get the kill off here. As uh, even